cross-training for skiers, enhancing performance. Hash cross-training for skiers, enhancing performance. Skiing, a thrilling winter sport that combines speed, technique, and precision, demands a high level of physical fitness and skill. While hitting the slopes is undeniably exhilarating, skiers can significantly enhance their performance and reduce the risk of injuries through cross-training. In this article, we'll delve into the benefits of cross-training for skiers and explore a range of activities that can elevate your skiing game to new heights. Hash the importance of cross-training. Skiing places unique demands on the body. The dynamic movements, sudden changes in terrain, and variable snow conditions require a blend of strength, flexibility, balance, and endurance. Engaging in a well-rounded cross-training routine can help skiers develop these attributes while also preventing overuse injuries that are common in sport-specific training. One of the primary advantages of cross-training is that it targets muscles and movement patterns that skiing may not fully engage. For instance, skiing predominantly uses the lower body muscles, especially the quadriceps, hamstrings, and calves. While these muscles are vital for skiing, neglecting the upper body and core can lead to imbalances and decreased stability on the slopes. Cross-training exercises can address these imbalances by focusing on neglected muscle groups, resulting in improved overall body strength and coordination. Additionally, cross-training aids in injury prevention by reducing strain on specific muscle groups. By engaging in activities that vary in impact and intensity, skiers give their overworked muscles a chance to recover and rebuild. This can help prevent common skiing injuries like knee ligament tears and muscle strains, ultimately allowing skiers to enjoy their favorite sport for years to come. Hash Effective Cross-Training Activities Hash Number 1, Strength Training Incorporating strength training into your cross-training routine is essential for skiers. Compound movements like squats, deadlifts, and lunges are excellent for building lower body strength, stability, and power. Moreover, focusing on the core and upper body through exercises like push-ups, planks, and pull-ups enhances overall balance and control on slopes. Hash number 2, Cardiovascular Conditioning A robust cardiovascular system is crucial for enduring long ski days and maintaining energy levels. Activities like running, cycling, and swimming elevate your heart rate, improve lung capacity, and boost endurance. These aerobic exercises not only enhance your skiing performance but also contribute to your overall fitness and health. Hash number 3, Yoga and Flexibility Training Flexibility plays a significant role in skiing technique and injury prevention. Engaging in yoga or dedicated stretching routines can increase your range of motion, leading to better turns and smoother transitions on the slopes. Additionally, yoga cultivates mindfulness and body awareness, which are invaluable for maintaining proper form and reducing the risk of accidents. Hash number 4, Balance and Agility Exercises Skiing demands quick reflexes and precise movements. Activities that challenge your balance and agility, such as agility ladder drills, 
BOSU ball exercises, and single leg squats, improve your coordination and responsiveness. These skills translate directly to your skiing performance, helping you navigate tricky terrains and obstacles with greater finesse. Hash number 5, Plyometrics Plyometric exercises involve explosive movements that build power and speed. Activities like box jumps, squat jumps, and lateral hops mimic the dynamic nature of skiing, where rapid changes in direction and bursts of energy are common. Integrating plyometrics into your routine can enhance your ability to maneuver on the slopes and tackle challenging trails. Hash number 6, Cross-Country Skiing Engaging in the sport of cross-country skiing is a highly relevant form of cross-training for downhill skiers. It provides a full-body workout while enhancing your cardiovascular fitness and stamina. Cross-country skiing also hones your skiing skills in a different context, promoting better overall technique and control. Hash Designing a Cross-Training Plan Creating an effective cross-training plan involves careful consideration of your skiing goals, fitness level, and the activities you enjoy. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you design a well-rounded cross-training routine. Hash number 1. Assess your goals and needs. Determine your primary skiing goals. Are you looking to improve your speed, endurance, technique, or all of the above? Assess your strengths and weaknesses as a skier to identify the areas that could benefit from cross-training. Hash number 2. Choose complementary activities. Select cross-training activities that complement your skiing objectives. For example, if you want to improve your endurance for long days on the slopes, focus on cardiovascular exercises. If you're aiming to enhance your agility and reflexes, incorporate agility drills and plyometrics. Hash number 3, plan your schedule. Devise a weekly schedule that balances cross-training activities with your skiing sessions. Be sure to include rest days to allow your body to recover and adapt. Overtraining can lead to burnout and injury, so listen to your body and adjust your plan accordingly. Hash number 4, Gradually Increase Intensity Start with manageable intensity levels, especially if you're new to certain cross-training activities. Gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts to prevent overexertion and reduce the risk of injury. Hash number 5, Monitor Progress. 